So I'm going to show you how to get your training paid for, well, hopefully, by the FIFPL. Because if you are an independent auto-entrepreneur trainer, you will pay your training concession to the FIFPL. So we're going to go, this is the site of the FIFPL, and we are going to go to Profession Libérale. Now, just have a look here. If you scroll down, um, you can see Voir les critères de prise en charge. And if we click on here, you'll be asked to put in your code NAF. I'm going to move over here. So you can scroll down. Um, for most people, it will be 8559A, which is this one. And then if you click on here, it will give you all the critères de prise en charge. So here we can see that there's different things for um, Calliope, for um, professionalisation. So anything like uh, teacher training will be in there, pedagogique, um, and anything to make your trainings eligible or CPF. And then anything that's not related to your specific uh, domain and languages. So you can get up to 750 euros per year, which of course, if you don't use it, it disappears. So I suggest you try and use it every year. Now it says, dans la limite du budget de la profession, which does mean that sometimes they run out of money at the end of the year. And also they've got some specific things about e-learning and visio, which is ridiculous if you ask me. But basically, if you're doing a training with more than 25 people in it at once, they will only pay 50% of the daily rate. So let's go back to here. Now, you will need to, if you haven't done already, you will need to sign up as an adhérent. So you can click on here. So if you've never signed up, you somewhere, you can create your account. So I have already signed up on here. Um, I think that's me. And this is where you put your demande de prise en charge. And that goes here. So you have to do your request online. Now I will show you um, if I can, one that I've done before. So for example, I did this one in 2021. And you have an interface where you're going to put all of these documents. It will ask you for specific things. It will ask you for your attestation de versement from URSAF, which is when you go into URSAF, where you make your declarations, you can ask for an attestation. Um, it's something about cotisation de... It will say something about formation. It says it in a very specific bureaucratic French way. But if you look on that paper, it will tell you how much you have paid into training and who you are paying to. So it will probably say FIFPL, and you may have only paid, let's say, 10 euros towards training, but it doesn't matter. The amount that you can get to pay your training will be the same, whether you paid five euros or 500 euros. So you're going to put that in here. You will need the thing from INSEE, which has your code NAF. And if you don't have it, you can just go onto the INSEE website and ask for it. And then um, the organization information will give you the program, um, the convention, and then uh, afterwards, you will have to get the organisation information to fill in the attestation de présence et de règlement. So to actually make your demand, you're going to click on here. Um, it's an action de formation. And you will see the information about yourself here. And then you are going to find the organisation information. So 
you will need, for example, the Siret or the name of the company. Have a look. And there it is. That's my organism information. So hopefully your organism information will be in this list or else you have to speak to them and ask them to get on the list. So you're going to choose this one. Um, and then, then what do we do is the question. Okay. And then it's automatically filled in the information about the organism information. You're going to choose the lieu, which could be in your company, in the organism information or autre. Modalité, let's say at distance. Then you're going to put in the information which will be on the program. So the name of the stage, let's say it is um, market your teaching business. Start date, which will be on the program, the finish date. Uh, how many hours is this going to be, this training, which will also be on the program? How many days? So this one will be more in hours than days. And the price without tax and with taxes included. Some organisms information charge TVA, some don't. And then you're going to click on Suivant. Yes, it's going to tell me I haven't put anything in. Let's choose a date. Let's say I'm going to start today. I'm going to finish um, end of November. It's 40 hours. And it's going to cost. Um, is the maximum and I'm going to click on suivant ah now this is ridiculous is durée, durée en jour parce que, because sometimes you're not going to have an amount in days but anyway let's split it up it's 40 hours so let's say that is going to be five days a long working day then you will bring you to this thing where you can upload all of the documents you will need and you can see you also need to put your hip and it gives you a tick against the ones which you have to have so either it'll be a convention or a quote and the thing to remember about training with the fifth pl is that you have to pay up front so you pay the training up front and i suggest you wait until you get the accord de prise en charge from the FIFPL before you definitely sign up for the training. I have signed up for training where I haven't received the accord de prise en charge because sometimes they take like months. Apparently they can take like 10 weeks before they look at it. It just depends on, on their feeling, I think. So I have signed up for training before when I didn't have the accord de prise en charge, but to be safe, you can wait for the accord de prise en charge. Once you have that, you know that they're going to pay for your training. They've said so. So they've allocated the budget, which means you can go ahead, you can pay for your training, you can do the training. And at the end, the organisation de formation will complete the attestation de présence et de règlement. You add this in here and the FIFPL will pay you. And that normally doesn't take too long. When I say too long, a month or so. And that's how you get to your training from the FIFPL.